Let us continue a little bit with this uh, with this uh, funny guy, so we can. I hope there is no noise from the from from outside. Do we have noise? Yeah, this is Jibril was passing by. In the description of English Bible, Jesus said, "The teacher and Lord, or Master and Lord." Eh? No teacher and God or master and God. It is impossible that Jesus claim to be God, since there are too many testimonies of him that say he was just sent by God. Pay attention to the testimony of Jesus in some following verses. John chapter number 5, verse number 32. The Father who sent me, once more, Jesus said, The Father who sent me. Oh. Uh, no, no, say it one more time. Say it one more time. Jesus said, The Father who sent me, the Father who sent me, sent me. Once more, Jesus said, the Father who sent me. So you idiot, you are trying to prove to them that Jesus is not God. And Jesus, he says that the one who sent him is the Father. Do you see how stupid you are? So you are saying Jesus, he did not say he is God. He said, I am the Son of God. Is that what you are saying? I mean, I cannot, I cannot believe it how stupid this idiot is. Because let me say it one more time. The Father who sent me. Okay, well, did you ask yourself why Jesus is saying the Father? How come Muhammad did not say the Father sent me? Hmm? If the Father means God sent me. Okay, why Muhammad never said the Father sent me? Do you see the stupidity? And he would do all... All the way in the video, keep saying, Jesus said, the Father sent me, the Father sent me. You just confirm that Jesus, he is the son of his father. Who is the father? Is God the father? So Jesus, he claimed to be the son of God, and that is divine. God is God. Look, when we, when we speak to a Muslim, he is like a person uh, who put a fuel in his car, but instead of putting it in the in the gas location, he put it in the radiator. And then his radiator gets so hot and then he explodes. Do you Muslim ask yourself why Jesus calling someone supposedly he is God? My father? And when you are quoting for me this verse, which verse was? Let us see again. Let's go back. Uh, John chapter 5, verse number 37. 32. The Father who sent me, once more, Jesus said, the Father who sent me also speaks for me, but you have never heard his voice or seen his face to face. Okay, hold on. Did Jesus say, the one who sent me, you never seen his face? You never heard his voice? Correct? Okay. Let us go to John chapter 5 and laugh at this guy. And remember always, I, we always we use the same chapters they quote for us to get them busted officially from there. You know what I mean? Because he is the one who mentioned John chapter 5. So let us go to John chapter 5. And you will see immediately how we will laugh at this madman all right <clears throat> this is this is john chapter 5 let me go to the screen for you and just open the page all right and he quote for us as you remember verse Five, 
37 but in the in the you know in the screen they have 37 and when he talked he said 32 i don't know so anyway let us go and see in the in the in john chapter 5. all right why you are quoting for me verses at the end but you did not quote for me as an example verse in the beginning look what it says here when jesus he called saying my father you see i ask him a question why jesus keeps saying my father my father my father for sure he will never answer but jesus answered them my father worked you know and i work so jesus claimed that my father and me both of us we are divine and we are one god and we work together you know which means it's the work of the father is my work the jews look what they did therefore the jews thought the more to kill him because he is not only had broken the sabbath but he said also that god was his father making himself equal to god Do you see it? Did Jesus made himself equal to God? Yes. So why you did not quote this one and you jump all the way to the end, saying that he sent me? Why you did not quote for them in chapter, in verse number 25, in the same chapter, it's saying, Verily, verily, I say to you, that the hour is coming and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. Why you did not quote for them that Jesus saying it clearly he is Son of God? So you are very good to go and see how oh, the word Master or the word Lord does not mean God. But Jesus, he just said he is the Son of God. So why you are not quoting this? Because you are a fraud and you are a hypocrite. Isn't this the same chapter? And not only that, Jesus said, For as the Father has life in himself, so has given to the Son have life in himself. So God the Father have life in himself, the Son have a life in himself too. They are they, they have they, they have the equal thing of what? Both they have life on themselves, the power of life. And has given him the authority to execute judgment. Who is the one who has the authority? It is the Son. Who is going to judge mankind? The Messiah. So when a Muslim he try to explain something, he make it you know he make himself look as stupid because if we go and read the same chapter, we will see all this chapter saying that Jesus is God. You know, actually, I can I can punch you in the nose in two seconds and make you go dead. I mean, not physically, uh, by asking you a simple question. All this video is just to say, Jesus, he said, he said uh, uh, my father sent me, my father sent me. If I ask a Muslim, who is the one who forgives sin? What the Abdul will say? Allah. Woman ya ghafir al chapter 3, verse number 135. Who forgives sin except Allah? Does it does it say that in the Quran? Alright, guys. Okay. Did, did Jesus says, "Go, your sin is forgiven." <laughs> it's over. I mean, we do not even need to debate about it. You are stupid. This is your Quran saying clearly. And who can forgive sin except Allah? Who can forgive sin? Muslim, they will say Allah. Okay, question. Did Jesus in his life, in this earth, he forgive sin? Let us see if this is true. Give me a second. <clears throat> Just to show you, you know, the stupidity. I mean, this is really, this is disgusting actually. Dishonesty, misleading, deceiving, just to fool those poor Muslims. 
Jesus, when Jesus, he came to his disciple, uh, and, you know, uh, he said to them, you see the title here, it says, Jesus forgives sin. This is the title, uh, Muslims, this is the title in the Bible, Jesus forgives sin. We just showed you the Quran saying, who forgives sin except Allah? Can Muhammad forgive your sin? You say, no, a'uzu billah. Can Jibreel forgive your sin? You will say, a'uzu billah. Yeah, this is blasphemy against God. Nobody can forgive sin. Okay. Look what Jesus said. Jesus know what they are thinking. How Jesus, he knew how they are thinking, unless he is God. Actually, the Quran confirmed that Jesus, he knew what they are thinking. He knew even what they hide in their houses. If you remember in the Quran, where it says that uh, uh, I tell you what you hide in your houses. I tell you what you hide in your houses. So how Jesus he knew what people they hide in their houses unless he is God. He knew the unseen. So look what Jesus said. If Jesus he knew what they were thinking. He asked them, why are you thinking evil things? Is it easier to say your sin are forgiven or to say get up and walk because talk is cheap, correct? Talk is cheap. So the Jews, they were upset from Jesus, for he said, your sin is forgiven. But you know what? I can say that too. I can say, hey, your sin is forgiven. Okay. Which was obviously making me claiming to be God. But which one is easier to you? Because the Jews, they were saying, who is this one who forgives sin? God only forgives sin. And you see it in the verse there. So he said to him, cheer up the person here because there's a miracle. There's a miracle happening in life and thousands of people they are watching and attending. And this person, he cannot walk. So he can be healed from his illness. So he said to them, you know, well, I cannot, I cannot walk each time I want to get there. You know, they, somebody jump before me and come before me. So he said to him, Jesus, he said, his, his, when he saw his faith, he said, cheer up, friend, your sin are forgiven. And then the rabbi, and this is, by the way, translation, you can change the translation. Just to show you, I'm not taking, I mean, I just opened this verse that came with this translation. I don't know what this translation is. You know, there is English of translation. The funny, by the way, the Muslim, they say to you, how many versions there is for the Bible? That is showing your stupidity. Uh, this is translation. If the word version means for you different Bible, that's mean the uh, Yusuf Ali is a version, Biktar uh, uh, is a version, uh, etc. You know, so don't be silly. You have many version of the Bible, brother. So here, he said to him, "Your sin is forgiven." And then the Jews they were wondering how he say that, how he can forgive sin. So Jesus said to them, "Which one is easier to say the sin is forgiven?" or say rise and walk here jesus not only proving that he can forgive sin as god but he have the power of using the word be you see the muslim they say if allah he wants something to happen he say be is going to be yet allah never said be and something happened and but this is a proving in the quran as an example when the quran say the statement about be speak about the isa and speak about adam but if we search in the quran we will find that neither Isa, neither Adam was created by the word be, which means Allah, he never said be and nothing happened by be. Allah took him all Friday afternoon to finish Adam by, you know, getting mud, fashioning the mud, uh, uh, making the mud stand as a man, as a statue, and then the breathing in the mud, and then after the breathing even took time. So where is be? So here they say in the Quran, chapter 3, verse number 59, the similarity between Isa and Adam that Allah, he said, be, and he was. But we go, we find that Isa was not created by be, according to Quran. Isa was a word of God, sent down to Mary, and then the Spirit of God breathed into Mary, and then there was Isa. So where is be? That is a contradiction, a stupid maker of the Quran. He's an author, a stupid author. In the Bible, we will find where God, he said, be. As an example, God, he said, let be light, and light was. Let be light. And light was, that's it. And here Jesus saying the same. Which one is easier to forgive your sin, which means be forgiven, 
this is be forgiven or to say stand up and walk which mean i say walk that is be be as i say the man he stood up and he walked So from the beginning we destroyed you by so by showing that Jesus forgives sin and Allah forgives sin. So that means Jesus is God and Allah is not. Why? Because if we go and read in the Quran and the Hadith, we will find that sin can be forgiven without Allah. As an example, those who says Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Akbar, Allah forgive the sin. The one who go and touch the black stone. The black stone erase their sin. The one who do certain rituals, their sin is forgiven. So you do not need Allah. But in Christianity, giving donation will not forgive your sin. Like people, they give donation to Christian prince. That does not forgive their sin. That is a, you, you, don't, you cannot bribe God. You cannot bribe God, you know. Uh, giving a sandwich to the poor, that will not forgive your sin. No. Being nice and merciful, that won't forgive sin. You do those things because you are a Christian, because this is the fruit of the good tree which Jesus planted on you. But it's not that will forgive your sin. In Islam, all those things, you know, the attacking the Christian, killing the Christian, stealing the money, and then you give it as supposedly Muhammad, he keep most of the money in his pocket and he give little pennies into the poor and he say, here we go, I, I, I give it charity. So here you see that Jesus, he have the power of forgiving sin, which nobody have save God. Same you find in Mark chapter 2, if you read from 1 to 12, where Jesus, he is forgiving sin. And, you know, he said to him, your sin to be forgiven. Then they said, Clearly, look, read very carefully, guys. Who does this man thus speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sin but God only? You see it? So the Jews understood very well that only God forgives sin. And the Quran confirmed that too. Who can forgive sin save Allah? Chapter 3, verse 135. And this is in many verses in the Quran, not only one. So we do not need to debate about it. Obviously, the Bible says all over that Jesus is God. And I, if I ask uh, 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 this Abdul, can Muhammad forgive sin? He will say, no way, no. Actually, here we go. Even Allah cannot forgive the sin of Muhammad. Do you know that? Let me show you. <clears throat> Let us see. Can Allah forgive sin? The answer no. Chapter 48, verse number 2. Look what it says. Allah is saying to Muhammad, and look that the translation, by the way, here is disgusting. Look, look how the deception, Muslim they say that we corrupted our Bible. Look at the corruption. Why you are saying forgive the fault when in Arabic it says them baka? Ask you can take the word them in any dictionary. You say them means sin, but because they worship Muhammad, they don't dare to say Muhammad he have sin. If you change the translator, you will see the word sin appear. Like what happened? How come Muslim they understand the Quran differently? There's a huge difference between fault and sin. Fault is not sin. As an example, I'm driving my car and I hate someone. That is a fault. It's not a crime, which means I did not mean to do it. It happened. It's a fault of a driving. Either my fault or his fault. He crossed the street when it's not right or I did pass the street when it says his right to pass. That can be fault. But it doesn't say fault. It says sin. And look what the verse is saying. That may Allah, Allah may forgive the sin, what do you mean may? Is Allah is able to forgive or he cannot forgive? Jesus, he said to the man who is a sinner, your sin is forgiven. Why Allah is saying, may Allah forgive your sin? And Allah is saying to Allah, 
Allah is saying, may Allah forgive your sin. How Allah says, may Allah forgive your sin. Who is talking? Are we listening, people? If the one is talking is Allah, how Allah he say, may Allah forgive your sin. Obviously, the one who is fabricating Quran, he forgot to switch. Because this is sound like a prayer, right? This is a prayer. This is not God talking. If there is no way that Allah is talking, says, may Allah forgive your sin. Are you stupid or what? If Allah is talking, he will say, your sin is forgiven. What may? When you say me, it's mean it's a wish. I say to you, may God forgive you. Okay, it's a wish from me asking God to do it because I am not the one in control, right? So when God himself, he say, may Allah forgive you, obviously Allah speaking to other God. And there is two Allah then. Otherwise, there is no explanation for such a stupid statement. Secondly, here you see, I don't know if you heard before, the Muslim, they say, that in certain time there was a Pope was given a certificate to go to heaven, which is absolutely false, by the way. I check it, there's not it's not true. This is propaganda against the Catholic Church. And as you know, I'm not a Catholic, so I speak for the truth only. I don't speak for uh, a church name. But you see, the certificate of heaven is written in the Quran. Because when Allah He's saying, forgive the past and the sin to come. How you forgive the past and the sin to come? That's an open license for sin. Do you see it? It says, may Allah forgive the sin that which is past and the one to come. Open license for sin. Islam is an evil cult. Telling you, go sin as you wish. Don't worry, be happy. Because the black stone, your sin is gone. You go under the Kaaba seven times, your sin is gone. Uh, if you pray the night of Al Qadr, which is very funny, stupid thing to say, uh, 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 is better than one thousand shahar. Right? Muhammad was trying to make a rabbi music, and he come with this, and it's hilarious, you know, uh, because imagine. See, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying just to connect the dots to, uh, together, for you. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to save you time to study and take notes. I hope people they are taking notes. The chapter of Al-Qadr, the night of power, sound like a porn night, night of power. What does that mean? Is better than a thousand month. Okay, what is a thousand month? 83 years. Is it logical that if somebody he pray in this night, which Muslims do not know, by the way, which one they are guessing, even Muhammad do not know. There's a hadith where Muhammad he wake up from his sleep and he start running. <laughs> he came out and then in the way I supposed to somebody disturb him. And then he came and he told his his his, his companion. <sighs> I was re I remembered when the night of Al Qadr is, uh, but I forgot it. It sounds like a Mr. Bean, right? I mean, what kind of a prophet he remember it and now he forget it just because he walked 100 meters away from his house. He walked 100 meters away from his house and he forgot. When the night of, of power is, which is very important in Islam, ah, welcome to Muhammad. But look at this. The night of power is better than 1,000 months. Why Muhammad, he made such a stupid statement? Because Muhammad was trying to make a rabbi music. If you notice with me, you don't, you don't know Arabic, but you will see at the end of the words here, all those end with the letter Ra, Qadr. Qadr, and repeating the same word in Arabic. If you repeat, if you are making a poetry or any, uh, if you repeat the same word twice, especially in a short uh, uh, page, that's mean you are limited in language. Shahar, Qadr, Amr, Fajr. You know, well, why you have to finish it with R? I mean, this is God. It's a rap. You're making a rap, and because he's making a rap, it doesn't make sense. Like I say. Uh, uh, give me a word in the text to make a rap about it. Somebody give me a word. Hmm? Let us make Quran. Give me a word. Nobody have a word. Stupid thing. So just to make a rab uh, Quran, he added the word shahar at the end. Better than 1,000 months. And by the way, the word shahar does not really mean month. 
It's month today, but shahar is a word mean moon. It's better than 1,000 moon, which means 1,000 month at the end of the day. Uh, uh, so it's, it's very stupid, you know, to believe in such a garbage that if you pray, one night is better than 83 years of a prayer. 83 years. Why? Because we pray in one night. It's called the night of power. Which Muhammad don't remember when it was. Shall we continue with him or he is not worth it? Because here we go. We just showed you that Jesus, he forgives sin. And the Quran says, and this is, by the way, this is an example for you as a Christian. If somebody says, where, how we can prove to me that Jesus is God? What do you do? Did you guys take note? Very easy. You say to him, the Quran says, only Allah can forgive sin according to Quran, right? Who can forgive sin save Allah? This is what, this is what the Muslims believe. And as long as Jesus is saying that he forgives sin, that's it. That's, well, it's obvious that Jesus is God. There is no more than this, right? I made a translation. I paused, by the way, in his page. I paused it in his page in the Indonesian language. All right? Who forgives sin save Allah? Who? Nobody, according to Muslims. Chapter 3, verse 135. Right? The Quran confirmed that there's no exception. Nobody can forgive sin. Save God. So if a Muslim says to you, show me a proof that Jesus is God, very simple. Chapter 3, verse number 135 says, no one forgives him but God. And the Bible saying it clearly that Jesus, he forgives him. And you can show them. Either Mark to, uh, uh, you know, where it says that. Or you can go to Matthew 9, where it says that. The act of forgiving sin is something have nothing to do with any man, any prophet. No prophet can forgive you a sin. No priest, no bishop. You see, Muslim they lie. They say we Christians we confess our sin and the priest he forgive our sin. That's a that's a that's a lie. The priest himself he pray and he confess his sin too, asking God for forgiveness. So don't lie about us. Or they say the Pope he forgives sin. That's a lie. That's absolutely a lie. He himself, he confessed his sin and he asked God for forgiveness. For no one can forgive sin but God. 